Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLU Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Pandas Lead Code, Question Type Easy, Question Number 182 Duplicate Emails. If you want to join the community for further discussion and updates, please join my Telegram unit, uh, YT community and also LinkedIn YT community by scanning the QR codes which are given on the screen. And along with that, if you want to join with the link, it is provided in the description below. Now, let us solve us. Um, let us solve the question together. Okay, we have seen that they have given some duplicate emails finding question. So they have given some person table which is consisting of ID column and email column. We can see here person column, person table, ID column, email column. Okay. And what they are saying, write a solution to report all duplicate emails. Note that guarantee the email field is not null. So what they are saying, there will be at least one email. Empty emails will not be there. Okay. And what they are asking is, what are the emails which have been duplicated? Okay. Let us come here. Let me. This is the table. And this is the output. Okay, so we can clearly see here there are two tables. Okay, just a minute. Yeah, we can see there are two emails. First one is what? A at the rate of B dot com, C at the rate of D dot com. Okay, there are only two emails, but we can see that the first thing is repeating twice. So can I say the count of this email is 2 and count of this email is 1 and can I say any duplicate email will have greater than 1 count if it is only once it is unique can I say if it is more than once it is a duplicate email so what we need to do first of all I need to calculate count of each email and I need to filter down the count for greater than 1 so what we are doing here in step one in step one what I'm doing I'm grouping by this email ID you can see grouping by email ID and I'm doing the count of rows okay in step two what I'm doing whatever the count of rows is there I'm trying to filter for greater than one okay let us try to code it first okay now let me call as df equal to or let me write return person so we can see person dot group by okay using what I want to group by email okay and what I want to do count of rows if you want to get the count of rows in pandas we write size okay if you are coming from SQL we write count asterisk Okay. we write here size let me see what is the output okay there is an issue here why they are asking us to return a data frame means one or more columns but it is returning a single series single column if you come from SQL background what will happen the grouping column also will be there the count also will be there but in SQL uh, in pandas only the count will be given if you want the email also we need to make it as a table we need to make it a data frame for that we need to write reset index after grouping by if you want to make it as a data frame we need to write reset index okay can you see each email a at the rate of b2 c at the rate of d1 so it is creating a new column and that column name is 0 and the count is to 1 so instead of 0 let me give a new name okay i will call it as mlv Okay, I'm giving my name as the column name. So can you see it is creating grouping by email and created a new column of MLV which is count of this one. Okay, now what I want in the next step, we have done the step one. Step one is done. Okay, but what I want, I need to filter this MLV table, right? So let me call this as person only. Person is equal to this one. Okay, I can filter here only, but let me do it in one more step. Return 
person okay such that this person table mlv column which is the count column should be greater than 1 can you see only this was satisfying we got it but i don't want two columns i want only single column so let me keep email so what is the output they are asking a data frame but i am selecting a single column if i select a single column in pandas it will return a series if you want to return a single column in data frame format we should write a double brackets means a list of column names okay if you give it as a list of list it will become data frame if you write a single list string it is a series it's done okay i think we have successfully uh, surpassed all the test cases hope it is useful for you if you want the code solution for the problem which you saw now please go to this github repository link which will be provided in the description below the solution will be provided there and if you want to learn data science machine learning deep learning or generative ai please fill in the google form below my team will be reaching out to you okay and for all the further updates and linkedin uh, uh, connecting and everything for the other students please join the linkedin description which was given in the description below and if you want to ask any questions regarding data science or anything particular to this question please mention it as hashtag ask mlv process in the comment section and please ask your question i'll be answering all the questions which are starting with this hashtag okay until then keep learning guys and keep practicing one day you'll be successful